It's time to get you straight into the action in the ABL as the Formosa Dreamers take on the Macau Black Bears in a quick rematch. The Dreamers picking up the win just 24 hours before this matchup and the Black Bears looking for a revenge. Early on, it was a close game and Will Artino able to turn that defense into offense for the Dreamers. Mike McKinney would have another brilliant scoring performance as he gets that spinner and that hook to drop. And Anthony Tucker, how many times have we seen this shot from Tucker from beyond the arc? Three-pointer falling for the world import. But Wu Song Wei able to counter for the Formosa Dreamers as he pulls up and rises to splash that three-pointer. We take it to the second quarter where the Black Bears were up by two early. Liu able to make it a five-point advantage. But then disaster would strike for the Black Bears as Tucker would crumble to the floor after trying that dribble move and he would be unable to see action for the remainder of the game. So the Black Bears would have to go without their reigning world MVP. The Dreamers looking to capitalize on his absence as Tevin Glass able to get that shot to drop. Chan this time surveying the scene, finding the space and getting into the lane for two. And then Malcolm Miller breaking this deadlock with this side step fadeaway three-pointer. Beautiful shot there from the world import. The Dreamers would have the lead heading into the third period. Without Tucker, McKinney would have to go ham as he gets that three-pointer to fall. Chen once again able to find some space and glide into the paint. Beautiful shot there from Wei Cheng. Lead pass as defense once again igniting this offensive slam a from Glass with that throwdown. What about this man? Check out Mike McKinney putting the moves on Formosa. That three-pointer after that crossover dribble. And with 34 seconds remaining, he gets one more for good measure. As McKinney doing everything humanly possible to keep his team within striking distance. To the fourth period we go as McKinney once again. This time the recipient of the pass from Lai Katong for the swooping layup. And he would get another shot here. This time jab stepping and skipping all the way to the three. But the Dreamers would put together a big run in the fourth quarter to break away what was a close game. That shot from Malcolm Miller from beyond the arc. And with 4 and 50 remaining, once again Artino able to pound his way into the glass for that layup. With three minutes remaining and nine point lead, Miller making it a double digit advantage and the Dreamers would cruise to the victory once again. They get two straight over the Black Bears despite 42 points from Mike McKinney, Miller leading the way with 35.